out in the shed tonight working on the S14. Some of the boys are here. Um, Joe Ash or Skinner is coming over to work on his big Crescita. I'll show you that later. And Desire's working on his S14. But I didn't film it the other night. We sort of did like a, what do you call it, Josiah? A pressure test on the S14. I'm trying to find the part which I've lost again for the fifth time. But it, it, it just started leaking water out of a fitting. So I have um, my fingers crossed hoping that that's all that is needed to be replaced. Not a head gasket but in fact a fitting i'll find it and show you it yeah i found that it's here this thing i don't know what you call it but it's some sort of water outlet thing i'll show you where it goes i don't know, i don't know much about srs and these are all parts that are going to go on the car but i'll show you them in a minute so yeah now i want to pull the um intake manifold off uh and it looks like a like a warren rabbit of like all lines and stuff so i feel a little bit um, <laughs> um concerned if getting all them back i'm sure it can't be that hard and there'll be heaps of information online so yeah pull that off and hopefully put this on and put some water in it pressure test it again start it maybe even drive it tonight we'll see Drifting royalty, big Skinner, working on the crest. We'll give that a look in a minute. But I wanna show you guys what I have got here. So, GK Tech, uh, ABS Delete, because ABS sucks, and a few other little bits and pieces. Gearbox springs, just to make it feel a bit better. Gearbox push, and uh, caliper extension just to get the handbrake working. In here is a uh, extended sump, aluminium big bad boy to just keep, I just wanna to try to keep the car cool. Um, back there is the coolest of all of the things. Ta-da! B knuckles pumped about them shiny boys. And then in this one, oh. And this one is a radiator, no, radiator, oil cooler. So there's the cooler, bits and pieces. It's really hard to do one-handed. Lines. So it'll neaten up. There's like a sandwich plate. I think this is it. Yeah, so this little sandwich plate just neatens up everything in that department. I'll show you, it's a bloody mess. We put it all apart, I didn't film any of it, but look at it, it's like so, whoa, confusing. But yeah, it pretty much replaces some of this stuff. I wanna work out what of that I can get rid of as well, but um, Nearly done. So this is what was, I think, the problem. We think most of the water was coming out of here and here um, and not actually a head gasket, which would be absolutely amazing if we didn't have to replace that. So the culprit, pretty, pretty haggard as you can see. So I think if I replace that with this one, that is the water leak problem. But like I said, that oil cool and relocation kit gets rid of this, this here. And I don't know much about this system. So I'm gonna ask some of my SR friends if I can move or, or get rid of that, simplify it. Cause uh, I don't want it to be messy, but I also just wanna make it as simple and reliable as possible. But um, it's getting there. It's um. Hopefully, fingers crossed, doesn't need a head gasket. What are you doing, big skin dog? Oh, just 
He's he's what? been out of the game for a Bro, fair I'm bit. That's slow, it's ridiculous. He's been out of the game for a while, but he's pulling the whole subframe out. He's got up here a whole bunch of goodies to go into it. But this car, get a torch, is basically the same as my car in almost every way. Um, it's got the new Haltech dash. He's got a T56 conversion done as well. Uh, VVTi 1J. But what turbo do you have? Uh, GCG 3076. GCG 3076, still on the low mount manifold. Uh, and how much power? 255. 255 kilowatts. So definitely does the job. He's got some cool wheels, some cool old school works. He's got some fake um, Recaro seats. Oh. <laughs> um, and it and it's it's a beast. So it's pretty, we built these two at the same time. Built the hundred the same time he built that. Now I've been much pretty much finished that. He's nearly finished that. Josiah's building this S14, and I'm building that one with his help. I haven't done really any work to any of the cars. Well, I put a roll cage in the 100, that's about it. Um, but the Sylvia, on the other hand, is on the hoist now, and uh, I'm pretty sure it has done a head gasket, unfortunately. I pulled the um, rocker cover off so that I could paint it, and underneath the rocker cover, like on the, on the top side of it, it had some milky residue, so I reckon it is a head gasket. So I'm gonna pull the engine out and redo the head. I painted the intake manifold here, did the uh, wrinkle finish, so that, that looks cool. But um, what I have been doing is I got a new toolbox. Um, so this is the old one, the roller cab, and it had this one on top, but now I've got this bad boy, and so I've spent all of um, this morning doing this, woo, nice and neat. So yeah, I cut out all the bits for for my like most used tools, basically. So yeah, I've been getting this already and sort of organizing the rest of it. Um, so now it, my tools are a little bit more spread out. I've got knives, little bits there, drill bits, um, cutting stuff safety stuff hammers and so yeah it's it's pretty dialed now so i'm loving having a bigger toolbox and obviously still got all my my stuff in in these ones um so i'm gonna pull well i'm not gonna pull the engine out today i'm gonna start pulling out the radiator and stuff uh it's too nice in front of the fire i've been pretty lazy but that's First job is start getting all this out, so then I can pull the engine another day. What's up guys, back in the shed tonight with a bunch of jobs to do on the JZX. Um, I have been doing a little bit of work and I have filmed nothing so i can't remember if i filmed anything i added in if i did but i pulled out the engine and gearbox well to be honest i didn't do much of the pulling out josiah um josiah beasted it and pretty much pulled it out for me last week we had all the guys or a bunch of the guys came over um chilling in the shed last week and josiah helps me get that out he's just the man when it comes to getting in and getting it done i was kind of, kind of just talking and hanging out but i'm gonna actually move the Sylvia off the hoist today and put the 100 on it because I've got these three things that I want to do uh, and I will show you. So engine mounts, I've got some aftermarket, some some aftermarket more, uh, solid engine mounts or they're still, they're still rubber but they're, they're stiffer um, and I got a new gearbox uh, cross member mount um obviously mine's custom because it's the t56 so i'm gonna have to change the um gearbox cross member a little bit and i've also bought these rear bushes um 
and the reason why I bought the bushes. So it's got it's got two different kinds for the rear knuckles. The reason why I bought the bushes um, for the JZX was last time I was on the hoist. I, I noticed that I could move the wheel um, sideways. There was heaps of play in that bush, which obviously throws out my um, my toe all, like all the time, depending on which way the pressure of the, the road is pushing it. So I want to fix them. But the reason why I'm doing the engine mounts and the gearbox mounts is the other day I drove it to Launceston, which if you're not from Tassie, it's like an hour and a half drive. Um, and I was in town just street driving and I was like sort of taking off and stopping at lights. And I noticed it had a little bit of a, a shutter in some, some points. And so I think maybe the engine mounts or the gearbox mount has too much play and it's sort of sending a shutter through throughout the, the car and so obviously um, it's not a hugely expensive thing to change and it's a good thing to probably upgrade anyway. I know JZXs are renowned for blowing their, their engine mount so it's a good thing to swap them out. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm so close to having this done, the JZX done. I still want to got the whole body kit stuff to do but as far, like mechanically it's nearly all finished and this will be one of the last things that I want to do as far as like suspension and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know if I feel much tonight. I hope I'll, I'll get a bit done. I know I've been super slack filming and I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna put the, the SR on the engine stand in a second. Your skin's been nailing the work on his car. So I hasn't done much to his S14, but that's because he's been working on his K70 heaps. Oh, and I also haven't even opened them yet. Forgot to say that I have a, some more surprises arrived today. Well, they're not surprised because I paid for them. I have a problem, and uh, if you know me well, you know that it is cool wheels. And these rocked up today. Um, I would say comment and guess what they are, but I know no one's going to do that. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's open these up and see what the bad boys are. VSKS, my favourite wheels. I these are for the front. They are 18 by 9.5, 23 or something like that. And I have found some rears, and I'm waiting on the guy to get back to me. Um, yeah, with them. These are just my all-time favourite wheel. They are ridiculously expensive. By the time I pay for these. And freight and the rears that I found, which hopefully hopefully the guy sells them to me and I pay for freight. For them, I'm actually paying the same amount of money as what I'll pay for a brand new set of Meisters, but they don't make these bad boys anymore. And they are my ultimate favorite wheel. I had them in 17s, I sold them, now I swapped everything to 18s. I wanna get them, I love them. I won't sell them, but I probably will one day because that's just how I roll. But yes, got KFs now and I'm stoked on that. Woo! All right, an hour later, the JZX is on the hoist. Um, it took ages. I'm not complaining about this shed, right? This shed is awesome. It's big, can fit lots of cars, but it's a little bit hard to move the cars from here around to there. I've got these trolleys, which make it way easier, but we're just pretty full up and there's so much junk down the back there now, so I can't get this one all the way in there. Anyway, the JZX is on the hoist. I'm gonna pull, well, actually let me show you if I can with one hand, the play that I was telling you about. Enough, I'll be able to move it enough. No, I can't really do it, but this tire moves like this. So that's got a screwed bush in it. So I'm gonna get to that. I don't know if you're going to see it, but this has like way too much play. So that's the problem. I'm going to try to get that out and press the other one in. Don't know how to do it, but hammer should be persuasive. Pack it up there. One of my friends end up coming around, so I didn't film too much, but I got out. The old bush came out. The new one's here. I need a big bolt so I can pull it in. So I didn't bother finishing that, but what I did do, put in the new uh, polyurethane gearbox mount and just made up a new um, a new uh, a gearbox cross member for that. So that's that job done. 
Next is the engine mounts, wherever they are here. I don't know if that, how hard or easy they will be, but they don't look overly good. Like you can see, it's sort of a bit ripped in there. Uh, this one's not too, as bad. So yeah, it's probably a good call um, putting these new ones in. So getting closer to these, them, and uh, the big, JZX is getting closer and closer to being done. And this video is definitely gonna be all over the show. I've filmed like two minutes here, five minutes there of it. Um, but yeah, everything's just a bit of a schmozzle. As you can see, the shed's just crazy at the moment. Skins, getting the beast all finished, that's really done. Sylvia's like ripped apart the engine and stuff's down there. It's just mayhem, but slowly getting there. Really keen, doing a skid pan um, in I think three weeks, skid pan day, with the first time there's been any sorts of sort of track events. So I'll obviously have the JZX at that, which um, a heap of the boys are gonna do, which is really cool. So kind of pushing to get that done. It won't be too much of a push. Just need to get all the bits and pieces I need to finish. Uh, this thing so yeah getting really close which is cool so like always guys like subscribe all that jazz um, again sorry about the video being all over the show but hopefully I'll be able to do a bit better of a job when the fr when my mates come over I'm like super self-conscious to not film because um, I'm a little wuss when it comes to that but work is happening the cars are getting built and I have another project potentially on the go once the S14's finished, but you have to wait till next video for that one. All right, so thanks guys, bye.